Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is about my five top herbs, my top five herbs. So I often get asked the question, what is my favorite herb? Or what are my favorite herbs? And that's a hard question, especially as a herbalist. Like, I don't have favorite herbs, but what I do have um, are my most used herbs. So I'm gonna give you my five most used herbs and why I love them and why I use them. So, number one is lavender. So I'm sure you've all heard of lavender and I'm sure you all know it as that calming, relaxing herb that helps you to sleep. Um, and lavender is all of that, like I love it. And it suits my disposition because I'm quite a nervous person, um, can be quite overactive sometimes, especially at night time. I can suffer from insomnia because my mind just keeps going and I just can't settle down. So lavender is amazing for that. I use it as a tea, so I brew the flowers and make it into a tea. I use it as a tincture also. I use the oil, the essential oil. I use it as a massage oil. I use it to inhale. I diffuse it in the room. And I also use essential oil to take internally as well. Um, that's a whole nother video, but you can take some essential oils internally. Next herb is ashwagandha. So I'm sure you've all heard me bang on about ashwagandha. It's an amazing herb. It's in the class of herbs called adaptogens. Adaptogens are amazing things. They just help your body to adapt to stress. And I think we all need to be taking adaptogens if we live in this world today because they're just amazing. They help increase your energy levels, your immune system, they just help your body in like in all sorts of ways. But ashwagandha is my favourite one because it's good for people that have that disposition to be like, um, so to be wired, like I'm quite wired but tired at the same time. So obviously we all suffer from low energy and stuff like that. But sometimes you can suffer from low energy but still be quite wired and agitated and stuff like that. And that's me, that's got my name written all over it, so that's why I love ashwagandha. And it also has amazing other properties as well, like it has anti-inflammatory properties. It's just amazing. So my third herb is dandelion root. Now dandelion root is an amazing herb. It's bitter, it's a bitter herb, so it helps just improve your digestion. It helps um, get your enzymes, your digestive ju uh, juices flowing. It helps your liver and your gallbladder to work better. And I just use it very long. I always have it in my cupboard or just have it in a little like tincture form in my bag. I take it four meals and it just helps me to digest my food better. So that's dandelion root. My fourth herb is echinacea. I can't live without echinacea. I think it's amazing. Echinacea can help improve your immune system. So it can help prevent you from getting ill, but it can also help you when you're ill. So I usually take or carry around with me a little um, tincture of echinacea or a spray of echinacea. And when you have that feeling, you know, in your throat where it's kind of like tickling and you know you're gonna get a cold or a sore throat or whatever, and I just take it, take it in like big dosages, um, we'll spray it and it really just helps like keep that cold at bay. The last of my top five herbs is frankincense. Now I love frankincense, it's amazing. It's not actually a herb though, I don't use the actual herb. I use the resin that the tree produces. It looks kind of like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. It's like a little gum resin, it's not focusing. Frankincense is just amazing. I use it for all sorts of things. I burn the resin because it just smells amazing. I burn the oil as well. Um, I use it in diffuser and it just makes the house smell amazing. And the essential oil just calms me down a lot. And I use it when I'm really feeling pms -y, really agitated, a bit stressed and quite low as well. Frankincense is an amazing oil to burn. You can use it for your teeth, in your toothpaste. So you add a little bit to your toothpaste and you can flush with it. And also you can use it in your oil pulling. So if you if you oil, or, I always find it hard to say that word, oil pull, um, you know, with when you put coconut oil in your mouth and you keep it there and swish it around for like 20 minutes, oil pulling, you can add frankincense essential oil to it. And it just adds to the whole experience, it's anti-inflammatory, it cleans your mouth, helps you to have better breath as well. I also use it in my skin, it's amazing, it's known to be used in anti-aging um, creams and stuff like that, but I use it in my skin, like I add a, a few drops to the oil that I'm using for my face, so whether it's roasted oil, coconut oil, argan, whatever, I just add a bit to that oil and I just massage it to my face and it just helps my skin to um, look brighter and more glowier. So those are my top five herbs. I hope they'll be useful to you. Um, let me know what your top 
five herbs are or your top herbs and why you use them and let me know if this video was helpful to you and if you enjoyed it. Okay, thank you, bye.